So this is a PLC M221 from Schneider. I'm going to, to show you the basic connection that we have to do in order for the PLC to work. First of all, here, just below, you have the 230 volt power for the PLC. Here, you have the network port where you can connect to the PC or an HMI. Here you have the 485 RG45 connection. From on this connection you can connect a meter that is for voltage sensing or you can use a temperature sensor which is on Modbus. So basically you can connect up to 32 devices on this connection you have the signal A and B and then you have here you have all the different input signals that is a 24 inputs here you have the 15 output signal which is relay so you can connect a 230 volt on the common which is here and then you can have the output from Q0, Q1, Q2, or Q3. And then you have another command, which is here. So basically, you can use different signals, that is, different voltages. Just you have to use the different commands. So command 0 is for Q0 to Q3. Q3. And command 1 is for output Q4 to Q7. And another one is on command 2 so q8 to q10 and then you have command 3 q12 to q15 so normally this no normally open contacts here you have the input this one as you can see here it's the command the first signal Okay, I will try to make it bigger. Here is a command, and then you have the different input signals. I will explain this on a paper how you can make the different connections which is here here you have an sd card Here, the SD card you can use it for data logging or for the transfer of pro program and for firmware. Here you have a switch to run the program or to stop the PLC. Right now it's in run as you can see here. It's running. So if I put it to stop, the LED will, bl will be blinking. That means that the program has stopped. So we put it to run again. Okay, now it's running. So the LED will be lit constantly. And here you have, here you have a USB connection. This is the connection that you have to make on the first time, that is to set up the IP address for the Ethernet connection. And you can also upload the firmware for the PLC. Here you have an analog input. It's 0 to 10 volt. And here you can have another blocks that is analog input 4 to 20 milliamps for level monitoring a flow meter. And just Next to it, you have an expansion port. Can have you can add other cards, 
where you can test different signal on it. For the connection of the system, we are going to connect the cable to the USB port which is here. Now I will connect it to my PC. You can see a driver which will have to be installed. So right now this is a connection. So as you can see it has already detected the PLC model M221 controller. You can see the properties. So LIUB USB Win32 devices from Chanel Electric. The driver, the details. Right now I'm already set up for the basic connection to the PLC. We'll try to start the communication with the PLC. We will open the simple PLC project that we made in the last video. This is the last program that we made where we had uh, the direct online connection. So we go to commissioning. Here is a connection for, here is a physical connection to the PLC. As you can see, it has already recognized that the PLC is connected. Here you have the connection M221 USB. So right now I'm already logged in. Here you click the connect. You can just click login here. So right now the programs are different because I have another program which is running on the PLC. So PC to controller means I will transfer the program from this computer to the PLC or I can upload the program from the, from the PLC to the PC. We will do PC to controller. We click here. We click OK. This will override the application which is in the controller. We click OK. Right now the PLC is in stop mode. As you can see the LED is, is blinking. So meaning that the PLC is stop. Now I will start the controller. The LED will stop blinking and will become steady green. So right now the, the program is already running. So as you can see, I have an input 01 normally closed signal so right now this one is active this is all the simulation features that i'm using to simulate i mean i will input a signal on the plc that is here you have the on switch here is the off switch here it will be used for the so this will be the on this will be the off these signals are connected directly to these input which are here so I am using the common and the different inputs, which is here, input 1 to input 4. So as you can see, if I press on, the signal is activated here. I have already wired the different input simulation switches. Now when I press on, as you can see, it will be input 0, 2, which is here. As you can see, input 2 is on. The fact that the input 2 is on and you have the normally closed on input 0 0.1 Q. 0 0.1 will be active and will remain on until I press off 
that is input 0 0.1 so now I'm going to press off when I press off the self latching relay will be released as the supply to the coil is broken so it will switch off Q0.1 so this is uh, first run that is run 0 now I will show you the set and reset memory using SO so this connection is made on input 0 0.3 and input 0 0.4 input 0 0.3 is start and input 0 0.4 is off I will activate input 0 0.3 As you can see, even I have removed the signal on the switch line is no more supplied by the 24 volt, but Q0.2, that is the output relay, remains on. And to reset the Q0.2, I mean to switch it off, we just have to press 0.4, which is here. That's the basic connection, I mean how to run a simple program on the PSC, I mean the hardware side.